There's not a great deal in here. Got me Hellman's, that's out of date. That there, August the 14th. That's 50 pence, that. I've got some stotties I got from the food bank. I've got uh, Rogan Josh sauce in there. That's out of date. I've got a smashed packet of noodles today. Very appetising. I've got some out of date um, pita breads. 21st. Oh, no, they're actually in there. afford them um, basically go to the shops and all that and get your food because you haven't got the money. I know there's people that they wouldn't come here. They, they think it's dead degree, isn't it? Right. They'd rather starve than come here. I get £15 a week. Time I pay my bills, I'm only left with what? £15. And that's it now. And the time I get my shopping in, I've got no left. It's a shame, like, but especially when you've got vents to feed and what they're going to feed on. No. The first day we opened, nobody came. The next week, about 12 or 15 people came. The next week, 30. The next week, 60. The next week, 100. And it just kept growing. We thought originally that it would be considerably larger than people imagined. But we didn't, um, in our wildest imaginations, think it would become the thousand a week that we're feeding at the moment. Oh, I love porridge, yeah. Oh, right. It's really nice, though. Do you like 
Would you like to cook some rhubarb on your porridge? Yeah. I've got a friend in uh, Morbeth who's got a load of beetroot. What from different places he goes for like walks in the countryside and he gets turnips and potatoes and that. Hi, great. All right. Yes, it's a Yes, it's about rhubarb. Very good. It all comes in handy, you know what I mean? With what I get on job seekers, it's like taking like uh, 14 pound a week off us for water rates. <laughs> I've taken uh, money off us for uh, council tax, which only leaves us with about 60 quid a week. Way well, less, actually 57 quid. I even walk around the house with a torch instead of putting lights on. Right, thanks for the tea. Very nice. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. volunteers write down dates you know and if you can help for an hour it would it would be really grateful we went through a rough patch a food bank helped us through our support worker she she asked them and uh, yeah and then we got a bit of help and it's, it's all good and uh, we've needed this so it's nice to give something back You've got to be able to see where you're going, don't Hey, Jimmy, we'll never shift this stuff so fast, man. This is grand. We'll need a couple more boxes, do you see? And there are pockets of deprivation all over the country. I think our pocket here is, is quite significant nationally. And I suppose that will apply to all the coalfield and heavy industrial areas. We're an area that had a tradition of manual labour industry. Time has moved on and we've failed to keep up with the change in society. Uh, politicians felt we were no longer able to afford this state apparatus of care and it's been run down now to the point where it can no longer cope with the needs of people. We're doing what we do because the state is failing to do it. All of us would much sooner see a healthy and more caring state provision that met people's basic needs. I did originally contact Michael thinking I could do good for others, but as I've been there more, I can see I, I get as much, if not more, reward by turning up and having the crack, and, and as a byproduct, I'm also helping others. How it is? Yes, sir. Start right. chatting. We're going to have to shout the names. No. The pen's on the side. There's no one in there. Hello, you've got the bread. All the people that come through the door for food is, is it's, it's something that's staggering, like. Well, me and my own family went from doing all right to not necessarily needing a food bank, but certainly thinking if things got any worse, what would I do? But we pulled ourselves around, we made the adjustments and got rid of the frivolous living, if that's what it's called. Um, but then I got to wondering, well, well, we've sold, well, Rolex watches and the legs. Maybe somebody isn't lucky enough to be able to do that. ex-convict like yourself to work, the work we do in the community. Yes. <laughs> I started on a Monday, for one day, then I went to two days, 
then three days, now it's five days, and much more do they want out of it. Eh? Right, my street, it's all for us. You don't know who it never used to be though, did it? No. Because if you go back 20 years ago, oh. I remember this did have a reputation, it was oh. quite rough. But you were all right if you were from here. Oh, yeah. Well, now it's changed a lot. Now you've got a lot of refugees and immigrants sent out a lot around here, haven't you? Oh, I mean, if you come along here, go along that road, the park there, it's chock at night time with foreigners. Yeah, yeah. That's not to say there isn't good people here. It's True. just changed a hell of a lot, hasn't it? <laughs> There's a big wagon, that's yeah. what we need. Would you pack on one of them? Oh, lovely. Loads of pallets. Loads of pallets. Loads oh, of pallets. Oh, let me get a forklift though, wouldn't we? Uh -huh. Donated food by nice shoppers who bought a little bit extra and put it in the basket for us. Wasn't forced. I think we should do. What do you think? Eh, yeah, we should do. Well, we know what we're doing and I can certainly say we're more of a help than a hindrance. Uh -huh. Do you enjoy volunteering, Jimmy? Right, I lose weight, get to me out of the house, and I'm on the door. There's nothing else to do. I apply for 35 jobs a week, and no replies off them. Keeps you fit, I tell you that. It's best to come early. Somebody just, somebody just like, full. Get yeah, chocolate. Chocolate, so it's best to come early. It's a godsend, actually. It, it, it helps in a way, aye. You don't get stuff you it's really godsend. need, like, but ah, it does help. Helps a little bit, ah, doesn't it? Aye, aye. Aye, helps aye. a little bit. I think your bends at the weekend. Uh, uh, right? I you've got to think of your bends. I'll give you bends at the weekend just as well as his yard, otherwise I wouldn't get fed at my use. This is really the best day. Aye, days aye. Why? Because you get bread. The Mondays, they don't get much on the Monday, but the Thursday's best day. Now you get your bones and bread and everything. Hello. Have you got a letter with your name and address on? I want a letter. Okay, uh, uh. <laughs> I see a new address. Yes, but no, uh, uh, Buster Avenue. No, no, no. Is that the new address? That's that's for Diana and Mariana. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, are we doing I and L or are we doing Mariana? Uh, doing it. Chanel, yeah. sorry, yeah. Peggy, pardon. Yeah. He, he had an appointment with the boss, is he here? Uh, where is he? Where, where is, is he? Where is he? Yeah, appointment. Uh, John and uh, the boss I don't know, and uh, for a uh, shop. Sorry. Well, look at the box, have a look. To be honest, how was I going to cook a cup of tea and how was I going to cook one of our things and Mr. Squares and how was I supposed to stay there? Do you need, do you need a tin, tin opener for your tins? Is that what, is that what you're saying? What are you give us, what are you give us, two tins of Well, that's all we have at the moment because I'm waiting for more food coming. I'm not disputing that, thank you very much. Well, that's all we've got, so you will give what you've got. Look here. Do you need a tin opener? No, I'll get this somebody else, please. All right. Thank you. Can you talk me through what was in the box? Oh, yeah. 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 It was just bread. Bread, more or less bread. And the food that they give us is rubbish. And the people that's going to do are Russian and they're all from foreign countries in any way. If you feel like that, please don't come back till you feel a bit better. OK, darling? Off you go home. It's not my fault. He's a good lad, he's just gone through depression. I've never had to 
this all to come under the feet of my soul. I am worried, of course I am, I'm a prayed woman. It's disgusting, I've got to come to this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many dogs is in there? Just me. Just you. Any children? Yeah, two. Is it low income? I'm on, um, I'm on statue of these sick people, which I'm not oh, getting. Right. Because I'm not getting enough. I'm not paying enough national insurance. Oh, right. So I'm not actually anything. Oh, that's what well, I'm saying. I don't, I don't ask myself. <laughs> I am just a kiss to lose a battle, man. I'm not feeling myself because of. I think that. I worked from the age of being 16 up until I was 19 when I had my first child. Took a few years out to be a mum. <sighs> no, there was a time when I used to um, call into Phoenix once every couple of weeks and get my eyebrows threaded and... <sighs> used to look after myself. I was a home support worker. I got 110% satisfaction out of my job. I couldn't... I couldn't mentally... look after other people at that time. I went into rehab... to sort the yeah, um, addiction out. And I haven't been back to work since. I'm 34. I don't want a lot in life. I live day to day. All my rent, my gas, my electric. Just want to make sure I can feed my children. You know, when people go into people's houses and they look around... ..and they think... ..she's got a canny nice house. And he said I didn't even pay for it. My carpet doesn't fit my sitting room. God, I've got to spit on me mirror to polish it. Even just cleaning stuff and... Even just cutting your, like, toothpaste. Just so you get to the end of it. Oh, the peace and quiet, the, uh, the silence above all, I think, just to be able to, to listen to the sounds of the world around you. The vast majority of the people we help actually actively want to work. They're branded as being useless, scroungers, um, second-class citizens, and... In many cases, they're being punished when they should be helped. The problem is that society doesn't look to give them the opportunity to give. The whole situation of going through the benefits welfare system can be really quite dehumanizing for people.
they've been talking to people behind glass screens who have problems of their own. They have targets to hit, they have numbers to get through. People tend to be called by number rather than by name. We're trying to make them feel human again. Two. Yeah, one's fine and one's two. Your job seat is allowed, you sanction. Mm. Low income. Low income. Okay, we're going to put that. I'll be here again next week. Hmm. What do you get there? Pardon? What you got there? Well, we've got Great. our bones and we've got. Two bags each, we're shopping in that. They want a good, a little bit toilet stuff. It'd be a very nice, it'd be very helpful. Well, I'll have a cup of coffee. That's what it's like every week, because what you do, you make new friends and all. You know, you make new friends. Some of them are nice, some of them are horrible, but you make new friends. Okay, mate? See you later. Only times we get five minutes apiece. Now I'm coming down here for a smoke. Otherwise, you're running back and forwards up there. Hey, hey. Five point six. Yeah. Was it? Point one. Oh, it's getting closer though, Lena. Heavy one. Oh, that's yeah, it. That's, that's a 22. 26.7. Oh, that'll be the that'll be the plastic box. I didn't wear the plastic box. Ah, so three three point eight. Oh. oh, I'll give up then. I'm not doing it no more. I could never sit in a nine-to-five office with somebody that I didn't like. I would end up being one of these, uh, you know, <laughs> and I'll kill you know, them. Yeah, like. but you didn't want to go back to work. You Looking know, regardless of what you think, and regardless whether you like that colour or this colour, if you're that kind of person, still need fed at the end of the day. It's a massive social problem, not just one little problem. I think it's a, it's a, a lot, amalgamation of a lot of problems. The cost of living goes up, but your wages don't. And the benefits, right, you haven't turned up and you're sanctioned. And they're given well, nothing to live on. Nothing. Days. So you can't pay your... It's not like, look, we'll pay your rent, but we're not going to give you any extra money. You get no money. Yeah. So if you've got nothing, how the hell are you meant to get through? That's the cooking, cooking facilities, that and the microwave. I can't heat anything, I can't cook anything like a, a roast or anything like that, you know what I mean? I'd love to be able to like go to the shop and like buy nice, healthy food. Fish, I like fish, but you can't afford it. You can't like, you can't say tomorrow I'm gonna have like uh, a nice big cake. Lovely big cake, and when I'm gonna like, uh, I'm gonna get haddock and chips. <laughs> Something crazy like that, it's gonna cost you seven, eight quid. I've worked in security, I've worked in a supermarket years ago, I worked in a care home. I'm out of work because I haven't got the experience and I haven't been given the help to get back into work. I haven't had the right training, I haven't been given advice, and you're left to rot. When your life's been broken up that many times through relationships and people you've met or people have came into your life and left your life and come to your life and left your life and come in and gone, you become really tough. You know, you've loved someone, you've lost someone, 
and you kind of think, Jesus, you know what I mean? And you fall down hills and you're like rushed into hospital with a smashed hand and you're sitting with a deformed claw hand and you're thinking, Jesus, you know, we're all going to die anyway and I'm probably lucky I've last lasted this long because I didn't think I'd live to this age, 56 nearly. I thought I'd be dead by 50 at the most. You know what I mean? So anything's a bonus now. You know what I mean? So I, I look at it like kind of, well, it's a, life's a bonus at that age. I mean, you know, I've been to loads of concerts since 1973, Mott the Hoople, I've seen Simon and Garfunkel, Bob Dylan, The Stones, everyone made a career out of going to see bands and being in a band. I've been in a few bands myself, you know, I've known loads of members of bands and stuff. And I've had a good time, I really have. I can't, you know, if I die tomorrow, I'd have, like, had a good time. I mean, there's, there's guys of my age who haven't even had uh, sex. You know what I mean? You've got guys who are in their 50s who have never had a relationship with, with a woman, have never, like, experienced what it's like to be with a woman or to, to travel and see Tunisia or to go up the Eiffel Tower or to, like, I've walked up the Statue of Liberty. And, you know, it's like you think, well, you've done some things. You know, you've, like, done some things. You may be in the shite at the minute, but at least you've had some good times. You haven't always, like, sort of had to go into the food bank. You know, or like sit with a tin of beans. So you kind of like, and you've got three big blocks of cheese in the fridge for Christ's sake. At least you've got stomach. You know, you look at other, other people if you haven't even got that. Do you know what I mean? They've got sod all. And you think, well, at the end of the day, you've got to laugh, haven't you? Because if you're different, you'll die. So, you will look like I say, I mean, Roll your tab, have a cup of tea and get on with it. And if you're lucky, you might get lucky, you know what I mean, one day. And not have to go to the food bank <laughs> and get some rhubarb. Is it you be able to smash your champagne in for the official unveiling? Yeah? Hey, good cowboys, us. <gasps> Could you have a ribbon? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Come on. Right. Snip. Yes. Well done. Happy tears. Is this not the fast that I choose to loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke? to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, to bring the homeless poor into your house, when you see them naked to cover them up, and not to hide yourself from your own king? Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you, the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am.